We got into the final, and as most people will remember, it was a horrendous day. Northeast the whole way. Um, rain from London upwards on the Sunday lunchtime, and it was still raining Monday lunchtime. It got to eight o'clock at night, and a lot of people were leaving, thinking that you're not going to get any day. It was getting dark as well as the rain. Wasn't dark. It? Gary was biting his nails down to the quick, and. Well, everyone was given up, and then at 12 minutes past 8, there was this shouting and bawling, and people <laughs> looking up in the sky, three pigeons arrived. Excellent. The only three birds that came on the day, um, we were fortunate to have one of them, uh, racing his team AK, and in the excitement, it was hard to see what was doing what, but Gary said the little blue white plane, white plane hen could have gone in first, which was us, which would have won us 20,000. <laughs> As, as it turned out, we didn't win it, and uh, the other two went in, and we still waited another 25 seconds before she went in. But we were happy. We were happy that we were one of the three on the yeah, day, yeah, yeah. and we got four in the final out of the six, which was really good. We really, and then we had another one next morning, which finished. I think it was 19th, 19th open. So over 4,000 pound. Really happy. Um, <coughs> Just to put it in quickly, we did continue that onto the Algarve where we won another few thousand euro, being fourth in one hot spot, second in the silver race, just missing out by 10 grand by a second. Um, this year, what we've and done. We're in the British section twice. <coughs> yeah, we were first British section twice out there. Um, is it luck? We don't know. We think there was a big element of luck in one loft races. For those people who want a bit of sport, a bit of entertainment, and can afford to do it, Go and do it. I mean, this year we, we, we consolidated our effort and put it all into Who Dares Wins. And be open and honest, we entered 12. We, we've only got two in the final. Right. Four have gone. We've put a full sister in to last year's pigeon that done it. She's already gone. Her other full sister's going to the national, so we'll see how she gets on there. But getting back to one loft racing, um, <clears throat> It's a, lot, it's a bit like Marmite, it's a love-hate relationship, you either like it or you don't. Um, up to now we've enjoyed it and I think the reason why we've enjoyed it is because we've had the success. Um, well, like you say, there's, a, there's a, an element of luck, but unless you're in be. it, you can't yeah, you have can't any luck at all. You've got to, yeah, that's no, the old, it's the old it to follow. You've got to be in it to win it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we've had our success and um, it's, it's, done, it's, done, it's so, done us good. Building on your successes of last year with the Algarve and, and this one, Loch Race, yeah. what, um, what breeding and bloodlines are your pigeons? Well, um, <coughs> Kevin is the mainstay of the Loch because I've been raced for two years and I moved and everything else. Um, and now I'm sort of a partner with Kevin now. And um, Kevin races mainly the clacks and he's got Franz Ols pigeons. Where when I packed in, I took to my new address to house some of the Sujan pigeons that I had. Um, and it was a Sujan pigeon that scored in the Who Dares Win last year, and second on the Algarve was a, was a Sujan. But the other pigeon on the Algarve and the other pigeon here last year was one of Kevin's de Clack. So we've mixed yeah, yeah. and matched them, and they've done really well. And this is the, mainly the birds that we're concentrating around, not necessarily for one loft race, but for our own racing back home where we're in Haven, in Hampshire. Um, <coughs> we're um, concentrating on them breeds, build a team, and um, we're looking to fly, obviously, not just local club racing, we're setting our goal really high, and we want to fly in the Nationals, the Classic, and concentrate our team there, because we yeah. think if you're going to put 100% in, you're going to spend money, Go for as much as you can. Yeah, we go want, for the, we go want the for better it. races. Yeah. Go for the big time. Because you know. the losses are so bad, local club racing, we want to lose the pigeons the where chance. it counts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Prepare them. Obviously, we're going to prepare them for that type of racing. Yeah, yeah. But if we're going to take our losses, we would rather it be in, in a bigger type yeah. of race. We have a slightly different outlook to some people because not just one loft races but just racing in general we don't race to win money if we win money all well and good it's a bonus. we won't pull our pigeons through to the hill and to be honest we haven't pulled these two pigeons here today but we would sooner have a top prize here today top position and get our pigeons in let the pigeons win or let the pigeons do the work and take the credit 
And if we get anything back, that's fair enough. But we don't do it to win money. Um, as I said, if it comes, it comes. Pleasure. It's a, it's a, it's yeah. a sport we have got to enjoy it. Pleasure. Are you going out to the Algarve this year? No. You're not going this year? No, because we haven't entered, we're not going. No. It's as simple as I said. We concentrated all our effort into this one and we thought we'd give it a go because even there, like, as I said, we're concentrating more on perhaps aiming for bigger races, to do well in one type of races, and this is why we've concentrated all our effort into one race, mm. instead of, you know, because finding a dozen know. youngs is not mm. easy, and the money, and to be fair, we used last year's prize money to fund this race. Yeah. We actually do so, like Gary's setup and, <coughs> and, and his um, attitude to, to this type of racing, because he takes no prisoners. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, the pigeon's got to work, and we're, we're in full agreement with that. Yeah, we yeah. agree with that. And pigeons should work hard. <laughs> I think also you only got to look at a uh, fortnight ago at Portland, North East Wind. Mm. The, the, the pigeons come superb. Credit yeah. to Gary because yeah. he is conditioning pigeons to do this type of fly. And that that race a fortnight ago is going to set these pigeons up superbly for today. Yeah, yeah. We know his target. We know <laughs> his goal. He's getting it right. In my idea, my opinion. Gary's one of the best at this game, I think. Yeah. One loss. He's think, got it right. He's got it how right. long does it take you to get up here this morning? Just over three, three hours. hours. Yeah, it's not too bad. Yeah, that's a good, good run. We know the route now, just over three hours. <laughs> but um, the other thing about one loss racing, I think if people do their homework and look at it seriously, and if you want to go in it and be serious, competitive, <clears throat> if you look at um, the value of this race to enter, where it's £500 for three entries, there's no add ons after that. And then if you look what the payout is, compared to the m number of entries, on percentages, yeah, the good. payout in it's, this race is as good as money. anything mm. in Europe that I've seen anyway. And um, will it last? I think it will. Because it's the way he's doing it. Mm. I honestly think it's the way he's doing it. If he gives you what you want and what the fanciers want, then that's good. He's got to earn money out of it. Of course he does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, know, it's, it, you can't say you can't say no. But um, I think the way it's run, it's run right. And I don't know. If, I don't know much about other races around the world. But I wouldn't discourage people from one off races. All I'd ever say is, it's it is a bit of a lottery. You've got to take your chance, but you've got to be in it to win it. And um, <clears throat> it's sport, it's entertainment. And if you look today over here. You'll see there's a hundred plus people that have come out to enjoy the afternoon and have a good time, have a drink, meet old friends. So yeah, I'd, I would certainly recommend it to people.